Well, good morning. My name is Mitchell Moat, and I'm an extension agent here in the Rutherford County Extension Service Office located in Murfreesboro. This morning, we're standing out here. This is the third week of October, and we're standing in our turf grass demonstration area here at the office at Lane Agri Park, which is the name of the complex where the extension office is located. And we're standing here in some uh, newly overseeded uh, or newly renovated cool season turf grass areas. And I wanted to talk just a few minutes this morning about uh, newly seeded turf grass, weed management newly seeded turf grass. Now, a lot of individuals, a lot of homeowners took advantage of the almost ideal September that we had this this year for either establishing or renovating cool season turf grasses. Uh, there was plenty of adequate or there was adequate moisture uh, without the need for uh, excessive uh, uh, supplemental irrigation and the, the temperatures were good enough to provide really good germination. So we're standing here in these plots and these were seeded on the 17th day of September and this is all these are all tall fescue blends and they have germinated come in really well but as as we're looking at this turf grass we're also noticing not only the grasses but also so some of the broadleaf annual winter annual weeds have come in. For example, uh, here we've got some common chickweed. And if we look a little bit closer, we can see we've got some pretty healthy young henbit plants that are coming in here. Plus we've got young, we've got juvenile uh, goosegrass. So we've got our cool season grass weeds and we've got our warm season grass weeds that are growing out here right now at the same time. Isn't, isn't, isn't Tennessee a wonderful place? We have diversity. So you've gone to the trouble, you've gone to the expense of establishing uh, some, some good cool season turf grass. It's up, it's growing really good. What, do you, what can you do about those weeds? Well, right now, while these weeds are young and actively growing, is a pretty good time to do some weed control options on those. Uh, there are a number of different products that are available for homeowners. I've got some listed or sitting right here. These are all examples of products that you can pick up at garden centers. They're all labeled for homeowners to use. If you'll check the labels on them, they're very similar in terms of uh, their active ingredients. They're all two, three, or four-way active ingredient products, meaning that they've got multiple active ingredients. And typically, those products that have multiple active ingredients will give you a broader spectrum of weed control. But one thing you've got to keep in mind is uh, pay attention to that label to ensure that you are applying the herbicide to grasses that are mature enough, strong enough to handle the herbicide application. You know, these three different products here, here's one called Weed Beater Ultra from the Bonide Company. This is Ortho Weed Be Gone. It also has some crabgrass preventer in it or some crabgrass control. And this is a spectricide weed stop for lawns also with some crabgrass control in there. The crabgrass control is not necessary now, but it's still going to work on these broadleaf weeds that are out here. But the thing to keep in mind when you check that label is that it's going to tell you that that grass needs to be at some level of maturity, that newly seeded grass does. Uh, it can be, for example, this one, the bonite, suggests that you need to wait until you have mowed the grass for the second time before you apply this herbicide product. The other two that are uh, here with me say that uh, their labels say that you need to wait until that grass has been established for approximately six weeks. That's just to ensure that there's enough maturity on the grass that the herbicide application is not going to damage it. But taking care of these broadleaf weeds, these winter annual broadleafs now, instead of waiting until we get up into November, it gets cooler and maybe the herbicide activity is not going to be so great uh, in the November, December time frame. And then we start moving on into the spring of the year when these weeds begin to bloom and reproduce. Taking, taking care of them now, it's much easier to control them while they're young and actively growing. And we're also starting to break that cycle where we're not, we're not allowing them to reproduce, put more seed back in the ground, and keep adding to that seed bank. So maybe in the long run, we can start to take away from the seed bank and in the future, start to reduce overall weed pressure.
And then plus we've got young, we've got juvenile uh, goose grass. So we got our cool season grass weeds and we got our warm season grass weeds that grow out here right now at the same time. Isn't, isn't, isn't Tennessee a wonderful place? We have diversity.